Some of you are some big loop de loopers. So, you know, you know, I was too. Until I lifted up my hands and I said, you know what, I really do surrender. I really do surrender. I really do surrender to living my dream. It's really serious for me. It really is. I lost everything in a fire. It, it's that serious for me. I lost everything in a fire. And I went to Perth, Australia, and I was ready to just give up on my life in the U.S. as I knew it. And I was going to go see my, my son, who I hadn't seen in five years. I hadn't seen my grandchildren yet. I had a new grandson born 15 minutes before my birthday and a two-year-old granddaughter and a daughter-in-law. And I hadn't seen my grandchildren at all and hadn't seen my son and my daughter-in-law since my mother had passed for five years. And I had to go all the way to Australia and come all the way back. And my dream was still sitting here waiting on me. It never left. And the universe said, I just wanted to see how bad do you want it. When I went to Australia, my son did my website. And I just didn't know where any of, how any of this was going to happen. My son did my website. I was not coming back to my husband either. My husband... <laughs> I'm see, see, you guys don't believe me. This is how serious this is for me. I was just through. I lost everything. My books, all of my motivational stuff, everything that I had built, a brand new computer printer, everything that I had built up, I felt was just lost. My husband started supporting me. He paid, he paid for a financial coach for me to get financial coaching. All of this happened while I was in Australia. And so I had to really pick up and leave and go away and say, you know what? My family said, how bad do you want this? And when I got to Australia, my dream was there waiting for me. <laughs> my dream was there waiting for me when I got back. People were still saying, how bad do you want this? No one was saying to me, oh, you ought to give up. You ought to quit. You ought to roll over and die. You'll never get this done. And so, you know, I call myself the six-figure coach but I haven't made six figures yet. That's an affirmation. That's way out of me. I've made it in I've made it from corporations over a period of time, but I haven't made six figures yet. That's my affirmation. I'm the six figure coach because I want to leave a legacy for my children. So now I need to get back to education. You guys quit throwing me off focus here. Okay, you guys stop it. Okay, so how long have you been in business? How long have some of you been in business or at least been trying to do your business? One year, two years, come on, you guys, talk to me. Don't get somebody, you guys are quiet, you want some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I did, I plugged up the coffee back there, it tastes pretty good. A few months. Huh, a, a few, few months? months? Okay, great. A year and, you, and a half. A year and a half, okay. Two years. Two years, our new person. For 12 years. 12 years, mm -hmm. wonderful. Wonderful. Glad you're here. Anyone else? How long have you been doing your business? Not yet working on it? Four years. Four years. Okay. Two years. Two years. Great. Great. Okay. So during that time, you've had to gain some type of education in what it is that you want to do. Otherwise, I know that you wouldn't be going for it. So where did you learn to do what it is that you do? Everywhere. I like that. She's like, oh, forget it. You know, I just, I'm just picking it up from <laughs> wherever I can get in that and like a very in open. Life, sometimes I feel myself like a sponge. Yes. I um, um, gain all this information from people who surround me, from, uh, from everywhere. Yes. Literally from everywhere. Yes. From each minute, from every second, from uh, each person that I'm uh, encountering here. Okay. Yes. See, she's getting it from everywhere. That's right. From life, yeah. from four C's, from CEO women. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everybody. From everywhere. Someone else back there raising their hand? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, and she's hiding too. Not me. Okay, no, not me. So where Wix give me some more answers. Where did you learn what it is that you do? Where did you learn to do what it is that you do or that you desire to do in your business? Yes, thank you. Thank, we, we appreciate you. My name is Aster. I'm 
Dinan. I'm from mm -hmm. Ethiopia. I learned to do business. I grew up with business with my family. Yes. But I came in this country a little bit different. The, the business. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, I try to work out now. Uh, I'm struggling to be there. Uh huh. And uh, I have a, a license like a massage. Uh huh. And also, I do uh, cooking. Okay. Okay. And, um, okay. Yeah, I okay. just start like one year ago on and off doing cultural massage to people and you know, house and train. Okay. And also I used to work at a chiropractor office. Okay. So, yeah, Great. but I am so busy. Sometimes I cancel my appointment that they call me. They don't call me back because. Yeah. You know, they try to sometimes, and then they say, oh, I'm busy, maybe it's next time then. Okay, see, so we're all in the wrong field. She's doing massages, and she's got people. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. She, we have, I have two kids. Uh -huh. It's so hard for me, and I also, I start a school here. I start there. I start everything I want, and I work three jobs. And okay. I think it's a little bit difficult. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's still great. So the first thing I heard you say is that you learn from your family, and that's directly standing on the shoulders of others. So if we've learned anything in our families regarding uh, our morals, morals, good morals or values, how to show up in the world, how to show up to a job, doing hard work, hard-earned work, even if we have seen people not doing the right thing or what we know to be the right thing, we have an instinct internal force that tells us, uh, well, I don't want to be like that. That's right. Every other week, that person is getting fired. Every other year, that person is getting fired. So if you, either way it goes, you've seen something good or bad, and you can still stand on the shoulders of that education of what works and what doesn't work. See, that comes back to talking about what you've seen and what you haven't seen to create your own success system. Because that's, is, that's my, what my whole conversation is about. Your own success system. What works for you? What makes you special or unique? And we all have something. So you just need to have it. Because Elena says she wants to be a coach. But Elena's not going to coach like I coach. She's going to coach, but she's going to coach in a different way. And she will probably, and not probably, but she has a whole remnant. And we all have a, this is why I say there's no lack, because I personally believe we all have a whole remnant of people that we only, that only we can sell to, that we can service. See, I can't service some of the people that you all can serve, service. Do you agree? I, you know, I, I just can't. Some of you, I can't even speak the language. So I can't come and give a massage the way you can give a massage. I can't come and do child care the way you do child care. And I miss my grandkids anyway. I probably would start crying. I wouldn't even be able to babysit and keep the kids. I'd have to say, come get your, your kids. I miss my grandkids too much. So we all have a, a, a clientele. We all have a customer base that we serve, that we serve. We all have our own people that are, are going to show up and help us with our own wealth, okay? I want you to believe that. Anybody don't believe that today? All right, just believe that and know that those people are gonna show up. So why did you choose to go into business for yourself? Why did you choose to go into business for yourself? Because nobody tell me what time they go. Mm -hmm. I like business. I, I can go 12 hours. Mm -hmm. But in another job, they tell me what time and what time. Okay. And what business are you in again? What business are you going for? Mm, selling clothes. Selling clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Why did you choose that business? Because I... Because I like him. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. But now I'm going to challenge you. Because right. you really do know. But I don't know if you know how to express, express that, that to me. Mm 